So Toferin was obviously you know the first indication proof of concept. But uh, when you know you want to move the dance in the way hearing is being actually treated today, obviously Usher syndrome is a very important cause, you know, close to our heart. This one is more difficult and more severe. The babies are born for Usher type one. They are born bilaterally deaf, but they are born also without a, what we call the vestibular function. So the vestibular function is responsible for our balance. So these kids, the parents notice they are delayed in learning to walk. And very sadly, during childhood, they also become blind. So these kids are deaf, they're blind, and they have very serious balance issues. So that's just why we decided to also partner with Institut Pasteur to try to actually uh, at least solve for the hearing and for the balance issue. And uh, right now in our animal models, we've been successful in restoring fully the vestibular function and also the hearing function, but in very, very young mice that would not be actually, uh, that would not be translatable for babies. So we have actually tested all the mice so that we would translate to uh, young children. And uh, right now, actually, the results we obtain is a very good restoration of the function, the vestibular function. So the, the mouse uh, has completely restored uh, the balance. But the level of restoration for hearing is not good enough right now. So we actually continue to work with us to Pasteur to try to optimize our gene therapy candidate to see if we can get better results. Because if we can't restore hearing, I think there is no pathway. Mm -hmm.